Hello my dear students of class 4. How are you all doing? I hope all of you are good. Let me take you to Northeast states today. In the last videos, we went to Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Sikkim, Uttarakhand, West Bengal, like Darjeeling in West Bengal and where else? Himachal Pradesh. Now, let us go to the Northeastern states. The northeastern states in the Himalayas, the east of the Himalayas is referred as the northeast states of our country, India. There are seven states. And together they form the seven sisters as they are known as. Which are the seven states? Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Tripura, Mizoram. These are the seven northeastern states which are together called the seven sisters. You can see here Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura. These are the northeastern states. Now, let me take you to Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh is the northeasternmost state of India. It is mostly covered by mountains. River Brahmaputra enters through Arunachal Pradesh in India. Here we will see that the state of Arunachal Pradesh borders the state of Assam and Nagaland. The capital of Arunachal Pradesh is Itanagar. Here many tribes live like the Apatani tribe, Galo tribe, Adi tribe, which is the largest tribe, and the Mismi tribe. Shawl, skirt, wrap, lungis are the fashion favorite here. Women wear a sleeveless chemise with an embroidered, a full sleeve jacket, along with a petticoat or a skirt, musak or waistcoat, completes the dress. They also wear a skull cap filled with yak hair which is known as the gurdam which adds more elegance to their dress. Married women wear a yellow necklace with coiled earrings and unmarried women wear bayop. Men mostly wear green colored wrap around spun in white, red yellow colored yarn. The state of Arunachal Pradesh is very famous for its beautiful destinations like Tawang, Zero. Then we have the Namdalfa National Park, the Sela Pass, the Roing, Itanagar, which is the capital of Arunachal Pradesh, Bomdila, Baluk Pong, all these are very famous places of Arunachal Pradesh and many tourists come to Arunachal Pradesh to enjoy the scenic beauty of Arunachal Pradesh. Here there are several festivals which are celebrated like the Siang River Festival, the Zero Festival of Music, the Solam Festival, the Loku Festival. Officially English is a language which is spoken by the people. But Hindi is the most common language which is used by the people. Apart from English and Hindi, people speak in Bodhi language, Apatani language, there are different tribal language in which they speak in. It is very famous for its bamboo shoots. So different recipes on bamboo shoots are very famous here in Arunachal Pradesh. So what we learned about Arunachal Pradesh? That it is the northeasternmost state and this is the state 
from which we can see that the river Brahmaputra enters India. The wildlife of Arunachal Pradesh is equally rich and varied. Elephants, tigers abound, especially in the grassy foothills, and leopard and jungle cat are quite common here. The white bronze gibbon is found in Tirap and Lohit districts and red pandas and masked deer in the higher ranges are found in Arunachal Pradesh. There are eight wildlife sanctuaries, one orchid sanctuary and two national parks in state of Arunachal Pradesh. Like the Kamlang National Park and the Itanagar National Park. These are the national parks and wildlife sanctuaries that we can find in Arunachal Pradesh. So what we learned about Arunachal Pradesh? It is the northeasternmost state of India. It is mostly covered by mountains. The river Brahmaputra enters India through Arunachal Pradesh. Here we will find different tribes, Apatani, Galo, Adi, Mismi, and mostly the official language is English, but people speak in Hindi and other tribal languages. And the capital is Itanagar. I hope so all of you enjoyed and all of you understood Arunachal Pradesh. Now let us move ahead with Meghalaya. Now let us know about Meghalaya. Let me take you all to Meghalaya. Meghalaya is a hilly state in the northeastern India. It means the award of clouds. It is a very beautiful place. The capital of Meghalaya is Shillong, which is known as the Scotland of the East. There is no need to visit any international place when you have so beautiful places in India to visit. In Meghalaya, mainly the tribes which live are the Khasi, the Gharu and the Chentia. Let us know about the dress of women of Meghalaya. Mainly the traditional costume is Chen Sing, which is an unstitched garment made of mulberry silk. Endi Sol is another costume of women own in Meghalaya. Let us know about the costumes of women of different tribes. The women of Garo tribe, they mainly wear a blouse along with a handmade lungi called Dakmanda wrapped around the waist. The men of the Garo tribe, they wear loin cloth. The women of the Khasi tribe wear jansin along with a blouse on the top of the dress, tap more clay, a cotton sole worn as apron. They also wear accessories with the dress. The men of Khasi tribe wear a long cloth around their waist, which is unstitched. The women of Jantia tribes, they mainly use Chrysa, a small piece of cloth having checks on it to cover their heads. They cover their bodies with a velvet and ankle length sarong, which is also known as Tho Kriyong. Meghalaya is very famous for its natural beauty and it is also famous for the rainfall that it receives. The Kerapunji Mosin Ram, which receives the highest rainfall. It is also famous for its falls, like the No Kalikai Falls, the Molingang Falls, the Elephant Waterfalls, the Seven Sister Falls. It is also famous for the Dauki River, which is the cleanest water. Or we can say the river where you can see the bedrocks, the bed of the river very easily. It is also famous for the Umiyam Lake, for the Arwa Caves, the Mausmai Cave, which is the longest cave. Here, we can also see that a lot of tourists comes every year to visit the Living Root Bridges. And the Molingram village, which is the cleanest in Asia. The Shillong, which is the capital of Meghalaya, is also very famous for its tourist spots. As we know that it is also known as the Scotland of East because of its natural beauty. Here, the people of Meghalaya mainly speak in English, which is the official language, 
other than English, also speak in Garo, Nar, and the Khasi language. The famous festival which is celebrated here is Wangala, the hundred drums, which is a festival of the Garo tribe. It is a what type of festival? Harvest festival. So what we learned about Meghalaya? Meghalaya is a hilly state in the northeastern India, which means the award of clouds. The capital of Meghalaya is Shillong, which is also known as the Scotland of the East. Mainly the Khasi, the Garo and the Jaintia tribes live here. Traditionally, the dress of women is Jansen and different tribes have different types of dress pattern. The official language is English, but people other than English, they also speak in Garo, Nar and the Khasi. It is very famous for its tourist spots like Mosin Ram, Dauke River, Umiyam Lake, Elephant Waterfalls, Seven Sister Falls, Arwa Caves. So all this are the famous tourist spots of Meghalaya. Now, let us move ahead with Assam. Let's know about Assam, the people living in Assam, why it is famous for. Assam is the biggest northeastern state. Parts of Assam covered by the northern plains. Neighboring states of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland were once part of Assam. Assam is very famous for its tea garden, the famous Assam tea and the Assam silk. It is also famous for the oil fields. The capital of Assam is Dispur. Assam is home to one horned rhinoceros. Other than one horned rhinoceros, we can also see elephant, tiger, leopard, Assamese mekyaw. Here, the famous places of Assam are Guwahati, which is the largest city of Assam, the Ichpur, Silchar, and the Brugar. National Park of Kaziranga National Park, which is very famous for the one horned rhinoceros and the tiger, and the Pobidora National Park are famous national parks that are located here in Assam. Here in Assam, the women wear motif rich. Mekla chadar, a two-piece garment, whereas a men wear a surya or dhoti and cover it with a drape that is a chadar called seleng. The traditional dress of men of Assam are dhoti and gamosa, which is a traditional dress. Gamosa, that means don't get confused. The pronunciation of gamcha is gamosa. The famous food of Assam is Khar, Masur Tenga and the Pita. Different style of Pitas are found there. The harvest festival of Assam is Bihu and they celebrate it into three types. That means in a year there are three Bihus that they celebrate. The Bogali Bihu, the Rongali Bihu and the Kongoli Bihu. It is very famous festival as in this festival they dance the famous Bihu dance which is famous in Assam. The classical dance of Assam is Satriya. Assam is very famous for the Kamru Kamakya Mandir which is located at top of Nilachal Hills at Guwahati. The official language of Assam are Bengali and Assamese. So what we learned about Assam? We learned that Assam is the biggest northeastern state. It is very famous for its tea garden, the famous Assam tea and the Assam silk. I think most of your mothers do have Assam silk because it is very, very beautiful. The capital of Assam is this pool. It is famous for its one horned rhinoceros that are found in the Kazilanga National Park, in Pobitara National Park. Here mainly the women wear the Mekla Chadar and the traditional dress of men is Dhoti and Gamusa. Here they celebrate the harvest festival which is Bihu and the classical dance is Satriya. It is also famous for the Kamru Kamakya. So today in this video we understood and we actually went to which, which places? We enjoyed and we went to Meghalaya, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. In the next video, we will complete other four northeastern states. 
which we have not completed in this video. I hope so. All of you really enjoyed and like my video. If you please like my video, don't forget to hit the like button and for your suggestions or comments, do comment in the comment box given below. In the description box, a PDF is attached with the, with the notes so you can follow the PDF and you will also follow the book that is provided to you. Do subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon for further notifications of my video. Until then, stay safe and stay at home. Thank you. Mm -hmm.